Imagine an atom as a tiny city. Inside this city, there's a powerful force called the color force, or strong force. This force acts like glue, keeping the parts of the atom called protons and neutrons together. To send messages for this force, there are special messengers called gluons. These messengers have something called color charge, which is like a special property. It's similar to how things can have electric charges, but in this case, it's about colors, red, green, and blue. Inside protons and neutrons, there are even tinier parts called quarks. Just like in art class, these quarks come in different colors too. There's red, green, and blue, as well as opposite colors like anti-red, anti-green, and anti-blue for their opposites, called antiquarks. Here's the tricky part. These color things can't be alone. They always have to mix in a way that makes the whole thing look colorless, like mixing paints to make white. So, quarks and gluons work together to mix in a way that cancels out all the colors and makes things neutral. This strong force is really powerful.